guys you're welcome back to my channel hope you guys are feeling good my name is Bukumi Biki Crown so guys we're gonna be checking out this video together titled a Christian priest says Christianity can never be as good as Islam Wow <laughs> I'm hearing that for the first time guys so let's check it out I keep hearing people say hey Christians need to be in power Christian need to do this, sir. Is it with this kind of Christianity? Hey. With this kind of Christianity is when we will be in power. A Christianity that is lame, a Christianity that is weak. You think, sir, when we were on the other side, let me tell you first of all the physical side before we do the spiritual side. Wow. When we were on the other side, there is there is there is a statement it's simple you go anywhere they tell you al muslim akul muslim anywhere you go to they will tell you a muslim is the brother of a muslim mm -hmm. i have shared with you here a terrible thing i hate sharing it i was sent by the archbishop somewhere and i got stranded on the way mm. i went to a church to go and tell them that they should I, I want to spend the night there hmm. i heard the pastor and the wife arguing inside hmm. i told them i said look i will not sleep in your house i want to sleep in the church sir they didn't allow me oh. i left that place and walked to a mosque I, the only thing i said is assalamu alaikum and he looked at me he said Mala. he said Life here, I said, New Metafini. He said, Bismillah, Bismillah, Bismillah. He said, I should, I should sit. Bismillah. Oh, wow. So he told me he was, he was eating his garo garo. He said, Mahalang, Bismillah, Kadoka Chokali, Mucha Abunchi. Sir, we finished. He said, Mahalang, he said, Masalachin Namuke Kwana. He In case you say, Kokanta, sir, I slept in the mosque. In the morning before the early morning prayers before he knows that it is not i only say salam alaikum i quickly step out sir is it with that kind of christianity we will, is that, we, are you are you thinking we can we can dismantle that force our self-centered self-seeking self-glorifying christianity a christianity that only thinks about himself Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. Mm. Here I've seen how a um, Christian priest from Nigeria, he said how he loves the Muslim brotherhood and how he loves the Muslim hospitality. And wherever you go, Islam doesn't have any sort of racism, any mm. sort of like division for nationality and all these things. Kullu Muslimun ikhwa. All the Muslims are brothers. So if you come from Nigeria or USA or Canada or Australia or India, Pakistan, Bangladesh or like Central Asian countries, wherever you are, if you are a Muslim, if you share the kalima la ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, then you are brothers. In the masjid, all the Muslims, no matter how rich or how poor he is, all are same. Everyone has the same right in the masjid. masjid. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala judges you with your taqwa, with your good deeds. The more God consciousness you have, the more good deeds you do, the better you are. Other than that, all of us are same. So, you can see in the western countries, Islam is the fastest growing religion. We have only one divine book that is Al-Quran which is preserved for last 1400 years hmm. not a single verse is changed it's all the same you take a Quran from USA and you take a Quran from Saudi Arabia it's all the same and that is one of the biggest miracles of Islam 
may Allah mm. give us the true understanding of the Quran may Allah give us the true guidance and may Allah keep us steadfast on this deen <sighs> wow I'm so sad to hear this it breaks my heart whenever I listen to something like this it's the church we are supposed to run to but it's the same church that abandons its people at the point of need yes i i understand that he's a stranger that doesn't mean you cannot even question at least sit him down ask him some question what happened to you this not just conclude that oh you're trying to protect the church you don't know if the man is evil or something i know maybe a lot of things might be running through the husband and wife because he said they were having argument and later he begged them that oh let me stay in your church and they didn't allow him like what is christianity turning into what are we turning into a friend of mine actually told me something like that that there was a time that um they had issue on the road and they were stranded and because where they were passing was really you know bad they said bad people stay around that area so they decided to you know branch the church but the church they allowed them like i don't know what's going on these days like church we need to the church is the body of christ the church is christ himself so if the church cannot help the the, the people so why will somebody be at a point of need and you leave that person stranded you know give an helping hand this is really bad it's also a pastor as it's just a normal you know unbeliever or something even that is even bad but pastor to pastor it's wrong then the man said he went to a mosque then he just told the man assalamu alaikum and you know the man is a muslim so he knows how to speak Aousa. so he speak assalamu alaikum and the man the man was like oh oh alaikum salam please come and sit down oh this he made him comfortable so he said he later slept at the mosque like he said something some of we christians we are self-centered we think about ourselves like i love the love muslims share to one another even if they don't if you are not even a muslim they are ready to give an helping hand if they are in that position to do so but christianity even though you are in that position to do so it's always difficult for people to render help to you and this is really bad it, it needs to change we keep you know talking about love 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 like bible said faith hope and love there's faith hope and love but the greatest is love if you have faith you have hope but you're not showing love to your neighbors you're not showing love to people around you then what's the point every other thing you have is nonsense like does not count as anything you have faith you have hope but you are not showing love no it's not complete as a Christian, I'm really, really disheartened. Like, I'm so, so sad to hear this story. You can see that the man really meant every bit of it because I mean, the man is saying it out of, out of, you know, sadness, out of, you know, he, he, he looks so unhappy, like, he's out of anger. He's saying all these things that, why? What is the church leading to? What is Christianity leading to? If you cannot help somebody at a point of need, not you don't, you don't have to give an helping and only doing church services, or maybe you guys have a special program, or because you know the person. If you don't know the person, I know yes, the insecurity is there. Depending on the country, in Nigeria, there's insecurity in some part of Nigeria. I understand, but at the same time, as a pastor, you should sit the person down ask the basic question then from there you know the person's intention not everybody you accept into your home not everybody you accept into your home like people say but you have to you know have a little conversation with the person through that conversation you able to know that you you'll be able to know the person's intention whether it's for good or for evil and if you see that it's for evil then you have, you have the right to you know like even though yeah god said we should accept it but at the same time one has to be careful if you see that oh this person has evil intention then it's fine but if you know that this person 
it doesn't have any bad intention why don't you welcome the person into the house of god it is the house of god it's not the house of man it's god's church like it's god's church it's our church we you know without us like without jesus and us there's no church like i don't know I don't know like i'm really sad like i was i was just speechless and i was like wow because i've heard of you no know, one or two stories similar to this then watching this video live and direct again on 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 my screen then I, I, I i'm i'm really really sad that this is really happening i thought it was a lie when i first edit from my friend i thought this thing is not really come on but me watching this video please this needs to stop let's help one another that's what you know comprises of church that's what make a church let's help one another it's very very important oh i just hope we christian can learn one or two things from our muslims brothers and sisters one thing i know about them is that they know how to show love they know how to you know give helping and when they are in a position to do so wow thank you guys for watching don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more like share and comment i'll see you in the next one stay blessed bye